Let's go to number five very, very fast. Loss of income in principle. Loss of income. If your spouse dies, you're only entitled to one social security check. So let's say my wife is making two grand and I'm making 1,500 bucks social security. We're on 3,500 bucks. Doing okay. However, I die. So my wife keeps her two grand and loses my 1,500 bucks. If my wife died, I would lose my 1,500 bucks and take my wife's two grand. Okay? So all of a sudden, instead of getting 3,500 bucks a month, I'm only getting two grand a month. Things are a little tighter. <coughs> okay? Loss of income. Do you know if your pension will continue to pay after your spouse dies? Well, hopefully some of you still get pensions. You know, most of the pensions are disappeared, okay, because now we're into IRAs and 401ks. But it used to be that you could take a higher amount until you died. And then once you died, there was no spousal benefits. Or you took a lower amount, and then you got a spousal benefit. So depending on what you got, that could make a big difference to you. Because let's say I had a pension, we took the higher amount, and I died, then my spouse doesn't get anything. Or I took a lower amount, and then she still gets some of my money. This is very true, and this is what I was saying to you earlier on about all these ladies in their 90s. When you run out of money, you run out of options. And that's very true, because now they're feeling a burden on their families. Do you want to move in with your, your children and your grandkids? <laughs> Loss of principle. Remember, did we, you know, after 9-11, most people lost 50, 60 percent, you know? Are we going to have another crash? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, can you afford to take another crash? Because what happens? We lose 50 percent, and it takes five, six, seven, eight years to bring it back up. Now, the older we are, do we have five, six, seven, eight years to do that? So, what holdings do you have? Are they ingress aggressive? Or conservative. We had some people come in to us and say, well, ours are very conservative because they're all in mutual funds. M mutual funds are just stocks. So if the market crashes 50%, so are your mutual funds. So the older you get, it used to be the rule of 100, still is, but when you're a baby, you can have 100% in aggressive strolls, you know, because you could afford to do this. When you're getting closer to 100, you want zero in the stock market because you can't afford to lose it. Often, people don't know their investments. They're setting themselves up to a huge loss. Okay, so let's do some things. Your assets, you get check-in, savings, 25 stocks, 75 CDs, 400,000. Your total assets are $500,000. Your plan today, your age 70, and your reasonable health. However, the next few years, your health declines. You've got in-home care for two years, assisted living for 1.75 years, and then nursing home care for three years. Okay? So your costs, in-home care, two years, 20 bucks an hour. It's very conservative. Most of it's 22 to 25 bucks. Eight hours a day times 365 days, 116. Assisted living facility care, six grand, depending on your level of care. That can be a little bit high if you're totally independent, or it's going to be a little bit low if depending on what stage you are. But that's 126 grand. Nursing home, 11 grand times 12 months, 396. Total cost of care for one person, 638,000 bucks. And where is that money coming from? You. Because you get half a million bucks. Oh, that's so you get half a million bucks. Your cost of care is 638. Oops. We're in a negative. What was your question? Where does we get that money from? Where are we going to get that money from? And that's just for one person. So if you have a spouse, what are they going to live on? What happens 15 years from now? You're now 85. How much are you getting in your CDs and checking account? 0.00001%? Okay, you need to come to me, I'm giving you 
Okay, I'm a good banker. So your 500,000 has went up to 673. Cost of one person now is up at 1.4 million bucks. And that's only a 5% increase over 15 years. We're seeing healthcare going up 10, 15%. Balance six, seven hundred thousand bucks. <coughs>